I'm here today to talk to you very quick about a deal that I just closed uh, this Friday. We got the, the property under contract during COVID. So if you're thinking there are no transactions at all, uh, there are transactions actually happening, uh, closing, uh, going pending under contract and all that. So we put this under contract during COVID and we closed uh, on Friday. And I want to call your attention to it because First of all, it was a really good deal for my client, but the second most important thing is the interest rate that he was able to, to get, all right? So uh, interest rates are at record low, all time record low for mortgage in the US right now. It means it has never been that low, all right? So you can lock a very low mortgage, monthly mortgage payment right now for the next 30 years, record low monthly mortgage payment. Uh, payment. So I'm going to tell you the story of this property. This property was listed for more than $700,000. It's a two bedroom plus a den uh, at the Icon Brickle. It's here where I live. It has beautiful water views. If you follow me, you probably know a little bit about my view. Um, and two plus den, two bathrooms, 1,500 uh, square foot. All right. Amazing floor plans on, on a high floor. Um, the asking price was above $700,000. We were able to bring the seller down, uh, negotiating to six twenty-five. dollars So, uh, got a great price. It took us a week to negotiate, but amazing. Awesome. Very happy about the price. My clients too. So, there was financing involved. Property appraised, right? Appraised at a little bit more uh, than the price, like six thirty-one. dollars So, it means that we negotiated the right price to my client. And my client financed it with 20% down, 20% down, all right? So uh, 80% was financed, 20% he paid in cash. Uh, that means that $500,000 of the 625 was financing, right? At 3.25% a year for 30 years, right? What does that mean? It translates into a monthly payment of mortgage of 2176 a month. So principal and interest combined, 2,176 a month for this two bedroom plus then apartment, $625,000, 1,500 square foot with water bills, right? Uh, the additional expenses with uh, maintenance fee, real estate taxes and insurance for this apartment is 2,233. So the total expense of my client with this property now, it's coming out to uh, $4,400. You know, $4,400 is his total expense. Being that uh, $2,176, it's actually mortgage, so principal and interest, right? Um, I want to compare this with rental. So rental price. The rental price of this property, they actually rent in the building right now. And they decided to buy it because they said, like, listen, uh, this does not make sense for us right now. We're throwing more than $4,000 in the garbage, paying our landlord's mortgage um, every month. So the rental price today of this kind of property that they bought, it's between $4,000 and $4,500, right? So that means they rent. That's how much they're going to pay every month, almost $4,500. And that money, the entire portion of that money, 100% of that money, it's, it's just garbage. You know, they're not, never seeing it again. Uh, it's probably going to the payment of their landlord's mortgage on the property, right? But if you think uh, now they, are, they have an expense of $4,400, but they're buying a property. Right? They finance $500,000. You know, they have a total expense of $4,400 with all the maintenance fee, real estate taxes, and all that. Uh, and, but a portion of that money, about 50% of that money, is actually being invested. Right? Not going through rent, to, to rent anymore. 50% of that money, it's an investment. It's a saving that they're making. You know? It's paying for the property that they just bought. A property that they bought today, uh, you know, Friday for 625K, right? But a property that may as well be valuing seven to eight hundred thousand dollars in a couple of years. Because this is a buyer's market, right? Like Miami right now, 
we are uh, in the peak of a buyer's market where things are starting to move faster, you know, so there are opportunities, prices are really good. And the volume, the volume of sales in quarter one, it's like since like 2018, been increasing and our inventory is lowering. But the inventory is still high enough that gives the buyer power to bargain a good price. But this is not gonna last much because we don't have more new constructions coming up, right? Like in Brickle, 99% delivered, sold, right? So no more new inventory. And price, it's uh, supply and demand, supply and demand. So now what we're seeing, an increase in demand, you know, like in, it's in all reports from, you know, the past, uh, year or so, and it, it is in the report of K1, uh, Q1, Q1 2020, right? And so what are we going to see now? Inventory coming down, demand still going up, you know, and that is going to impact prices in a positive way in the next couple of years. So we got a great deal to my, to my client, you know, so amazing price, uh, amazing interest rate, you know, and he's making an excellent investment right now. You know, his money might be worthy a lot of more money, you know, 10, 20% more money in a couple of years. Like, who knows? Um, and he's not throwing money in the garbage anymore. So if you are in the same situation that you're, think, that you're renting, you're paying rent, so like there's a lot of people uh, that live in Miami right now and they pay rent, right? Like, uh, because uh, it's expensive to buy a property. You know, start thinking about buying. You know, like this buyer bought with 20% down. There are some buildings in the downtown Brickell area in the, in, my, in the entire Miami, some buildings that qualify for 0% down, 5% down payment. That means you can finance up to 97% of the property value, 100% of the property value, 95% of the property value. So you might not even need as much down payment as this. The important information that you have to have is that he got a loan of $500,000 and his monthly payment is $21.76 for that loan. So imagine if you got a loan of $250, your monthly payment is gonna be around uh, $1,100, $1,100, right? A month for mortgage. If you get a loan of uh, $1 million, your monthly payment is gonna be around $4,400, right? So compare now with whatever you are spending in rent, right? Is it making sense? Right? Keep in mind, you can finance a property with as low as 0% down payment in the Miami area. There are not many buildings that qualify for that. There are a few, but I know, you know uh, the ones that do. Uh, you can finance with 5%, with 10%. You can finance with 20%. You can finance with 50%. It all depends on you, but you have to know that there are possibilities. All right? So this is what I want to make uh, clear here. One more thing that I want to touch on is this interest rate, a record low, we don't know how long it's gonna last. You know, this is election year, so that's one of the reasons it's low. You know, we had the COVID-19, you know, so, uh, you know, they're kind of playing with the, with the interest rate to bump the economy, right? So, we don't know how long it's gonna last. So, you wanna, you wanna act, right? Because about like six months ago, interest rates were at 4.5%. Today, my client was able to lock it at 325. Very, 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 1.25% less than the average of about six months ago. Another very important thing. Yes, we are in a recession. Q2 of 2020, recession in the US and most of the world, all right? But the four major financial institutions, JP Morgan, JP Morgan Goldman Sachs, Wells Fargo, uh, what is the other one? I forgot, there's another one. So the institutions that manage most of the wealth in the world, they're saying that uh, we are gonna have a V-shaped uh, performance and recovery you know, from this recession. What does a V-shape mean? It means that if you are growing at that speed, because of COVID, it, it's gonna go down very quick, sharp, right? And after COVID or uh, when we start to open it up, it's also gonna recover fast, right? Because what? The economy actually was in a good place before COVID. So it's because of an external situation that the economy is actually stepping back, all right? So unemployment rate, like these financial institutions also are foreseeing that most of the jobs are gonna come back within the year, 
all right? And like, most of them are actually going to come back within the next six months. And in about in 2021, we should be in the same level of unemployment as we were before COVID. So the momentum is this for you to take advantage of leverage and negotiate uh, low interest rate, you know, because that's what you want. You want and, and buy in a buyer's market in Miami. You know, so Miami, it's a buyer's market. Most of the country, it's a seller's market. Miami, it's a buyer's market. And that's when you want to buy. You want to buy when you have leverage. People sometimes, they just like decide that they want to buy when prices are going up. You know, oh, prices are going down. I'm not going to buy. It's wrong. You don't buy when, you, when people are panicking because prices are going up. You kind of study the market. You see when prices are kind of, you know, actually low. Uh, but... Sales are increasing, that's when you buy. That's the perfect moment for a great investment. Do not wait for you to see prices going up because after, when you hear that prices are going up, it's because prices already started going up six months ago and you know and they are reporting now. So pay attention to that. And if you need help, here, my team is here. We wanna help you get into your new property, your new home. We wanna help you to find the perfect place at the perfect price, and we want to help you to navigate the transaction, the transaction, you know, the financing, title, and all of that. That's why we're here for. So thank you so much for listening. You have an amazing week. It's a new beginning for all of us. I hope we we learned and we have learned enough about uh, our planet, living in society, taking care of each other, being generous, compassionate, loving, kind. I hope it this stays with us. I hope we take care of each other being hygienic using our masks and let's build a better world together.